The ceramics is classified to two main types, the crystalline structure and the non-crystalline structure. The crystalline structure is the traditional ceramics and the new ceramics, while the non-crystalline structure is what's known as a glass. Traditional ceramics are made from minerals occurring in nature. The products can be the pottery, the porcelain, the bricks, and the cement. For the new ceramics are made from a synthetically produced raw materials. The products include the cutting tools, the artificial bones, nuclear fuels, and the substrate for the electronic circuits. The starting materials for these products is powder. For traditional ceramics, the powders are mixed with water to bind them together and achieve a proper consistency for the shaping. For the new ceramics, substances other than water are used as a binder during the shaping. After the shaping, the green part is fired in a process called the sinitering. The function is the same as in the powder metrology to affect the solid state reaction that bonds the particles into a hard mass. Moon shaping processes for traditional ceramics require that the starting materials to be a plastic paste. This paste is comprised of fine ceramic powders mixed with water. The starting raw ceramic materials usually occurs in the nature as a rocky lumps. The purpose of the preparation step is to reduce the rocky lumps to a powder. The combination is a reducing particle size in ceramics processing by using a mechanical energy in various forms, such as impact, compression, and attrition. The combination techniques are most effective on the brittle materials such as the cement. And the metallic ores. The two general types of the combination operations are the crushing and the grinding. Crushing is a reduction of a large lumps from the mine to a smaller sizes for subsequent further reduction. Several stages may be required, like the primary crushing or secondary crushing. Production ratio in each stage is 3 to 6 times. Crushing all the minerals is accomplished by a compression against energy surfaces or an impact against surfaces. In context to combination, the grinding refers to the reduction of the small pieces after crushing to a fine powder. This can be accomplished by the oppression, impact, and or a compaction by hard media such as the balls or rolls. Some examples of the grinding include the ball mill, the roller mill, and the impact grinding. The main ingredients of the ceramic paste are the clay, where the chemistry is the hydrous aluminium silicate. Usually the main ingredients because of the ideal forming characteristics when mixed with water. Second ingredient is water. It creates a clay water mixture with a good plasticity for shaping. The additional ingredients of the ceramic base are the non-plastic raw materials such as the alumina and the silica. 
The purpose is to reduce the shrinkage in drying and firing, but also reduces the plasticity during the forming. Other ingredients may be added like the fluxes that melts during the firing and promote the sintering. Also, some wetting agents to improve the mixing of the ingredients. The water contents will affect the shaping and process of selection. And that's what we're going to learn in the next slide.